Hello everyone, and welcome to my Emmerdale News YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. Emmerdale delivers the shocks next week, as verified in my new spoiler photographs, as a much-loved legend is abducted while Tom King, James Chase, remains the talk of the village. Tom, as fans know, has been torturing wife Belle Dingle for months. Unable to handle it any longer, Belle broke free from his grip and, after pondering what her future would look with Tom continuing in her life, she vowed to open up about the abuse she endured at his hands. With Tom's actions now public knowledge, he has become the talk of the town and next week, Lydia Dingle comes to blows with Jimmy King, Nick Miles, who fails to identify his nephew for the abuser that he is. Can Lydia persuade him see that Belle is telling the truth? That remains to be seen. In regards to the kidnap I described before, that happens during the ongoing blackmail story, as will Taylor, Dean Andrews, faces yet another setback. The blackmailer, you see, ups the stakes to 50,000 pounds, leaving Will with little choice but to seek aid. But who does he go to seek alone? Why, it's none other than Caleb Milligan, William Ash, who is taken aback by the idea. Will asks Caleb to provide him with the cash he needs in exchange for his shares in the haulage firm. Caleb agrees, leaving Will relieved, but things spin out of control when Kim Tate subsequently vanishes, with Will receiving information that she has been kidnapped. Will Kim be okay? Elsewhere, Arthur Thomas continues to ignore Jai Sharma over the way he abused Laurel Thomas Arthur soon has other things on his mind as he invites his date Lewis into Mulberry, with the two boys opening a beer together. Jai, however, witnesses the two disposing of the empty beer cans, making Arthur terrified that he will tell Laurel. It's going to be a fascinating week. Next week on Emmerdale, Will's blackmail ordeal increases as his secret enemy threatens Kim's life. Elsewhere, Arthur's new date doesn't go according to plan, and Billy hides a secret from Dawn. Here's our comprehensive guide to eight important moments coming up. 1. Will's blackmailer ups the ante. Will panics as his unknown blackmailer boosts the ransom demand to 50,000 pounds. This is a heavy punishment for Will, who missed the original cash drop-off when he was distracted by the fire drama at Moira's barn. With no genuine method to raise the funds, Will begs Caleb for a loan in return for his shares in the haulage business. 2. Jimmy is left enraged by Will. Caleb hands up 40,000 pounds to Will, which helps him to make up the gap. Will texts the blackmailer to confirm that he has the payment. Next on Will's agenda is coming clean to Jimmy about his surprise arrangement with Caleb. Jimmy is outraged at Will going behind his back over such substantial changes to the firm. 3. Kim is kidnapped. Just when Will thought his struggle was coming to an end, he goes to home farm and finds that Kim has vanished. The blackmailer makes another call, stating that Kim has been abducted. Will's unknown enemy leads him out to a woodland area to rescue Kim. There's a creepy turn of events when Will uncovers a mannequin dressed like Kim, which goads him further into the woods. 4. Jai struggles with Arthur's coldness. Jai gets some advice from Charles, who thinks he should do everything he can to get back on better terms with Arthur. Things get off to a poor start when Arthur continues to disregard his stepdad, reluctant to forgive him for the way he has hurt Laurel. 5. Arthur is spotted on a covert date. Arthur enjoys a secret rendezvous with newbie Lewis at Mulberry Cottage. The boys have beers together, with Arthur hoping that Laurel won't find out. Later, Jai witnesses Arthur and Lewis disposing of the empty cans. Arthur notices Jai gazing and thinks that he'll cause issues by giving Laurel the truth. Could this be Jai's chance to get back in Arthur's good books? 6. Ryan is left disillusioned by Gail. Gail chats to Ryan about her dreams of finding a new place to reside. Ryan is dismayed when Gail makes it apparent that she wishes to live alone. Can he convince her to move in with him? 7. Billy hides a secret. 
Dawn confronts Billy after finding a secret cache of cash that she knew nothing about. Billy wins Dawn over by explaining that he was saving cash for a surprise. Later, it's evident that Billy wasn't speaking the truth as he phones a mystery contact, asking for more employment. 8. Jimmy and Lydia fall out Jimmy and Lydia cross paths in the cafe following recent conflicts between the King and Dingle families. The duo quarrel about Belle's revelations regarding Tom's abuse, with neither eager to back down. A former Emmerdale favorite kept his disease a secret from virtually everyone around him because he didn't want to be pitted or isolated and it was also the reason he chose not to have children a decision he now regrets. He was the attractive, mild-mannered son of Annie Sugden and Emmerdale from his appearance in 1972 straight through to 1994. Although Fraser Hines, 79, became a household figure because to his performance in The Dales, he had already enjoyed a star-studded career previously. He originally cut his acting teeth alongside cinematic superstar Charlie Chaplin way back in 1957, when the duo acted in A King in New York. In addition, Fraser also acted as companion Jamie McCrimmon in Doctor Who. Alongside the second Dr. Patrick Thruton for three years before subsequently joining the renowned ITV soap. It was the other loves in his life that made him decide it was time to abandon the program though. In 1994 he married champion water skier Liz Hobbs and had a fondness for horses. He previously explained, I left Emmerdale because I got sick of going to work when it was dark and coming home when it was dark, he remarked. I just got married and owned a stud farm, and so I said I would leave. He claims he was asked to make a return the next year but refused and was later killed off. Despite his off-screen death, he has revealed that he would like to return to the drama. His love of horses helped him become an amateur jockey in the 70s and he has co-owned a stud farm in Newbury for many years. Two of his horses were even named after his characters Joe Sugden and Jamie McCrimmon. Although he intended to concentrate on the company and his wife, Fraser didn't slow down after Emmerdale and proceeded to star in a variety of programs including Dalziel and Pasco, Out of Sight and even Outlander, which he helped to inspire. Before his marriage to Liz, ladies' man Fraser dated several beautiful and famous women, including Michael Caine's daughter Dominique, Liza Goddard and Deborah Waddling, who he acted alongside in Doctor Who. He was also previously married to Irish actress Gemma Craven. His union with second wife Liz broke down following Fraser's cancer fight, which he eventually announced in 2010 after keeping it secret for years. He fought the disease for 11 years after being diagnosed with colon cancer in 1999. Fraser had a five-hour procedure and had much of his lower colon removed to get rid of the tumors. But his surgeon told him the cancer had spread and he required treatment. At one time he was informed he only had a 25% chance of survival. At the time he was starring in Panto in Beauty and the Beast and would drive to performances after receiving chemotherapy. I never told the rest of the cast, I just wanted to be treated naturally, he revealed in a 2012 interview with The Mirror. As a jobbing actor, he was also anxious about being alienated from any potential jobs in the future. The consequences from his health troubles led to problems within his marriage and despite always wanting children, he thought he couldn't consider it in case the disease returned. Liz was desperate for a kid. But in my thoughts I thought, why? I could die. Then I found the marriage was beginning to collapse. Fraser admitted, you go through this self-doubt. It was my fault, I just withdrew and said I don't want to have a family. It was terribly selfish. The pair eventually separated in 2003. The actor spoke of his regrets over not having kids and said he dearly wanted to have a little girl, hindsight's a wonderful thing but if I knew then what I know now, I'd definitely have a 12-year-old daughter. Or perhaps eight sons, and still looking for a daughter. Fraser continued to act and more recently has acted in BBC Soap Doctors as well as Tales of the Tardis as the original character Jamie. He has also turned his hand to writing and has published autobiographies and a novel, Doctor Who, Evil of the Daleks, which relates the events of the Doctor's clashes with his fiercest enemies from the viewpoint of A. Jamie.